What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Black Mamba KO Power of the Primes Optimus Prime. So, you might be wondering, DM Reviews, why are you looking at this figure? You don't look at stuff like this. And you would be right. Um, one of the reasons I got this is because it comes with a version of Orion Pax. We have yet to get a Masterpiece Orion Pax. So, if you just watched my previous review, which was the Masterpiece custom version of Alpha Trion, then you know I wanted a Ryan Pax to go with that. So this guy comes with it. The size, this is oversized obviously, so the size fits well with the Masterpiece scale. Now as soon as I bought this and it arrived almost within the same week or month, x Transbots announced that they're doing it and they had the prototype down at BotCon. So I will be getting that one too. I don't know when it's coming out. Who knows? It'll probably be months, maybe even a year. So in the meantime, we'll have this guy, but this guy is actually pretty cool. So I bought it, you know, relatively cheap on eBay, um, I don't know, from some Chinese place, but you could probably find this on eBay or other uh, Chinese websites for pretty cheap, somewhere in the range of 70 to $80. And it is pretty big here. We'll show you a, a size comparison, but I was kind of surprised how nice it was. So I decided let's do a review. So, with that being said, let's take a look at this robot mode. It's really uh, pretty big here. He does have kind of a backpack, and he's got Ryan Pax's legs hanging out there. He's also got some kibble here for the trailer mode. Now, that is the same as the original design from Hasbro. He's got quite a bit of paint on him, too. I was really surprised again. So, all of this red paint... Is all of this red is paint, all the yellow here is paint. The face has the silver, the blue, and the silver again for the face mask. That's all painted. You've got some gold paint here on the arms, yellow paint here, blue paint here on the crotch, more silver paint here. Coming to the side, all this silver you see, everything you see that's silver is painted. You got the blue and white paint here. Coming to the back, again, more silver and accents, more of which we'll see in the robot mode for uh, Orion Pax. He does come with one accessory, which is this black blaster. It does split in two, which is meant really for the robot modes, but you just combine them together like that. And it does look like his traditional blaster. Good looking blaster overall. Let's go over his articulation. The head is on a ball joint. You get some down, quite a bit down actually, not really any up. Rotates all the way around, uh, no side to side. Shoulders rotate around on a ratchet joint. They go up to here on a friction. Actually, they go up to here if you move this panel out of the way. You can get them all the way up. So, that's kind of interesting. It's really a transformation joint. Uh, we'll get to these legs in a second. They definitely are a little bit problematic. You have a rotation at the bicep. Single to elbow gets you a little past 90 degrees. You have a rotation at the wrist. Single pin for the hands, all the fingers are just one piece. Coming down to the waist, you have a no waist rotation or anything like that, no ab crunch. These legs are all friction joints, and that's very unfortunate because they're loose. So I had to put some kiki in the knees, in the feet, probably got to put some in here too, but he tends to want to like flop down, especially these feet and these ankles. So that's kind of a problem. And the knee, I wish I had a stopper because it actually goes past the point where it's supposed to go. So you end up with the knee, you know, kind of crushed down. So it's just really, the legs are not well designed. I, and I'm guessing they copied the design from Hasbro. But anyway, get up to there, back to there, out to the side. These are solid, so you can't move those out of the way. Rotation at the thigh around the universal. Signal to the knee gets you 90 degrees. Again, no ratchets. The ankles can go up to there, back to there. And you can also have a toe tilt, uh, let's see, down. Not really much up, and side to side. So right, let's get Orion Pax out here. Pretty simple, you just push down on this lever right here. I uh, you to take this whole section and remove it. And this is the Orion Pax. You end up with this. Now I'm going to probably try to customize this, but here's what you're left with. So you're going to unpeg these legs from here. Those are going to fold all the way down. You're going to rotate those to the front. And then open up his feet down here. These feet are painted 
pretty thick, nice plastic. Right. Go ahead and come to the back here. Take these arms and bring those forward for a second. The chest section, fold that forward. And then the head for Optimus is going to go in there. Fold out the Ryan Pax head, rotate that around, and that's going to go back in. Put those arms back down. And then this is going to come down and sit like that. Take your hands, fold those out. And there you have Orion Pax. And pretty cool looking. I like overall how it looks. There's a little bit of waffleies here in the inside thigh. Um, but overall, he's a solid unit. You have a little bit of this Optimus Prime chest from here. But not bad overall for the price point anyway. And he does have some nice articulation, so the head goes down to there, up to there. Uh, no side to side, it does rotate all the way around. The rotation here at the shoulder. It is on a ball joint. You get a butterfly just due to the way this is designed, but it does knock the chest out if you open that up. You have rotation at the bicep. Double joint elbow gets you the full bend. Nothing at the wrist. Let's put this back. Uh, no waist rotation on this guy. No ab crunch either. You do have hip skirts here that move independently, but the whole leg will move with it. So I like that design. I like when they do that. Goes back to there. And then you can move the thigh a little bit on that ball joint. It also go up to there, but of course hindered by that tab. Unfortunately, the design itself hinders it. Rotation at the thigh. Single to the knee gets 90 degrees. Ankle goes down to there. Uh, let's see. No tilt. Really no tilt at all on these feet. So you're kind of locked into that position there for the feet. And for a quick size comparison, there he is next to the MP44 Optimus Prime. I like the size here. I think it makes sense in the Masterpiece scale. Not as big as Optimus, but big enough to become Optimus. And I, overall, the proportions, I think, look pretty good compared to this Optimus here. All right, before we get these guys transformed into their vehicle modes, first, you do have this gun here, which separates from this one, so you end up with two guns, actually. So this one makes more sense. It looks better, but if you want, you can use this one, too. So you have two. I don't know if Ryan Pax ever had a weapon like this, but you have the option there. And the other thing I wanted to show you is how to customize this guy to look a little bit better, a little bit more like a Ryan Plax, but uh, maybe just a little bit cleaner. So we're going to come to the back, and actually, um, more than a screwdriver, you're going to need a pin punch. So we're going to open up these arms. There's a single pin right here. Now, thankfully, it's pretty darn loose. <laughs> thankfully or unthankfully, so it's pretty easy to get out. If you don't have a pin punch, you can use a small screwdriver, and you can basically push that pin out. And I got it out really easily on mine. But if you can't get it out with that, then you'll, you'll, you will need a pin punch. But slide those out. You can take this part off. You can also come to the inside here. This is on a peg, this head, the Optimus Prime head. And you can basically just slide that off, on, off that peg that's plugged in there. And now you've got the parts for the Optimus Prime and you could potentially customize this Prime with these parts. Right? And it's going to take some work, but you could basically get this to, to, together where he's got his chest and he's got his head. So that's an option. Now you also have a cleaner looking Orion Pax. And his backpack's a little bit smoother. He's still got the look of the G1 Optimus and doesn't have the look of the, you know, Orion Pax vehicle mode. But I do think it looks better, it's cleaner, and it's kind of a nicer robot. You can go a step further if you want to. So I'll just show you, and I kind of discovered it, and I forgot to show you this matrix, but he does have a matrix. It's clear, translucent blue with the dark blue plastic. And that will actually uh, work in this mode, but it doesn't really work in the combined mode. It's kind of hard to get it out. Anyway, if you take out those two screws, one, two, there on the inside of his chest or his back, and then you come to the bottom here, come to the front, lift this up, 
there's a screw right here, right underneath where this attaches, right there. If you take out all three of those screws, this entire backpack will come off. Then you can use that to create the other robot. So it depends which one you actually want. If you want this one to have a complete back, then I would recommend leaving this on here. But if you want the other robot, this one, to have a complete chest and head, then I'd recommend taking this off so that you can put it on here. All right, now let's get these guys transformed into their vehicle modes. So they do combine together to make the vehicle mode. You can have this just as the truck if you want to. All right, so go ahead and fold these up. Fold the hands down, same on this side. Open up the head, open up the chest. And we're gonna take the backpack here. Fold these in, so they sit like that, so that's part of the truck. Same on this side, fold that in. And the book isn't very clear exactly how this goes. I think that's kind of the angle, but you can sort of mess with it. I've also seen that this can actually plug into here. So I'm not 100% sure what the best way or what looks the best. It's kind of up to you, but you can sort of choose. But to get these panels perfectly straight, you kind of have to have them down like this. All right, next we'll take care of the legs. So come to the bottom here and fold these feet upwards. Rotate the legs so that the wheels are on the outside. Tab these together here on the bottom. It is a painted surface, so I think you could end up scratching the paint, so just be careful there if you're worried about that. Fold the legs upwards, and they're gonna tab in right here into the chest. So make sure those make those way in on both sides. And then the head's going to sit in the middle, and that kind of makes the port for the trailer. All right, bring these back. And just, if you did remove these during the uh, pin removal that I showed you earlier, you do need these for vehicle mode, because you won't have any wheels and you won't have any sides to your truck if you had done that. All right, get those back. Bring this down. That's going to tab in, whoops, right there. Bring that down, line that up. And peg that in. Give that a firm squeeze. On, on mine, it's pretty tight. All right, same on this one. Fold that back. Fold this down. And give that a firm squeeze on the bottom. Make sure that makes its way all the way in. There is your cab mode. It does roll. Pretty ugly back here, uh, but pretty nice up here. I kind of like the look of this truck mode. Got yellow lights, silver paint kind of all throughout. Not too bad. All right, now let's take care of this guy. A little bit different. So feet kind of fold forward like that. And now he looks kind of funny, <laughs> but that's how it works. Come to the inside here, you're gonna unpeg these from here and fold these all the way out. So I'll have to take these legs and plug them together down here. Then we can take all of these panels here. Oops. There we go. Take these panels, open them up, open this up. These are going to flip all the way around. Just careful with this clearance here. You want to scratch up those those legs. All right. Open this up. Open up this panel. This is going to come and attach right here. Tab in. And then this is going to come this way. Don't close it just yet. Just leave it like that for for now straight. All right, so same on this side. We'll fold this up, fold this up, and this is going to tab into here. Bring this around, making sure to avoid contact with this painted uh, side of the uh, thing there. We're going to take these knees, so the knees are going to bend all the way down, and then you're going to bring the thighs down. So it becomes straight, and that's how you line up these tabs into here. So if you don't have it on the angle, the knees on the forward angle and the thighs on the back angle, you can't plug these in. So that's why the knee overextends. I just don't like it, but that is how it works. All right, so once you get those plugged in, we'll work on the arms. So for the arms, open up these panels. I'm going to flip this all the way around. Rotate this to this side. Bring this up. Uh, before we do that, make sure you fold these in. Those uh, 
smokestacks. Bring this around. Uh, make sure you open this up. And then bring the arm down. Tab this back into these panels on the top and the middle. All right, same on this side, so I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna bring this arm to the front. Fold down your smokestack. And bring this in. And sit this down like this. And then go ahead and take this piece here and tab that in here and here. Then we're going to take these. There's a tab right here that's going to fit into a little slot on the hand. So fold these down, tab that in. Same on this side. Fold this down, tab that in. And then last up here, you're going to tab the back part here together. Right, so it should end up with something like this. Yes, you can see the arms here. That is kind of how it goes. Come to the bottom here, you're going to take this peg here, fold that down, and that is the toe hook or toe hinge. Put that in there. And there you go. There's now this doesn't work that great, but kind of have to have this up. But it is supposed to pull, kind of barely fits in there. But you can pull it and rotate with it. If you go too far, it kind of pops off this little thing here. Not the best connection, but overall, pretty good looking trailer here. And just for completeness, you can store the weapon, it's got two holes here on the side and there are the two tabs in the arm. I'm going to get it in between those two arms, get it tabbed in, and then bring these back down. And I'll basically just hold it in there. So he can tow that around, kind of like a weapon on top. It almost looks like a Power Master Prime, but there you go. And for size comparison, there it is next to the Transform Element Optimus Prime. Uh, I was kind of shocked. It really is almost the exact same size, the cab anyway, pretty pretty darn close. So as far as scale is concerned, it is uh, the same size here. So final thoughts on the Black Mamba KO Oversized Power of the Primes Optimus Prime. Let's start with the positives. I think it's a pretty good looking bot. I was surprised how much paint is on here, especially on this body here. There's quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, so that's really nice. I also like the way Orion Pax looks, even though he's oversized and, you know, it's meant to be a retail figure. It scaled well. You know, it looks okay. I also think the weapon's fine. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Uh, Negatives-wise, there are some waffles and kibbles, so you got some things like inside of the thighs there. If you don't do the removal trick I showed you, then you end up with this backpack, and that's kind of ugly. Uh, and overall, his articulation isn't great, so if you're trying to use it in a masterpiece scale collection, you know, it's going to stand out as, as kind of a, not the same caliber as a figure like this. But for me, personally, it's good enough for now until we get a masterpiece version. So I am going to have this in my collection, at least temporarily, until we have a final one. Uh, only other thing I could mention is this guy. If you are planning to display him in this mode then these are very, very loose, and it just makes posing kind of annoying, and he's constantly moving on you. They really need ratchets here, here and here at the, at the least, or in the ankles, right? To, to one of those plates need a, need a ratchet to, to kind of stand up. Um, but that's really it for today. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for a cheap uh, RI and packs that will scale with your Masterpiece Collection at least temporarily until we get one from a third-party company. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.